my name is Sidiak and welcome back to another episode of Pilot Training Flight Simulator where there's been a big update where there's now a new plane. They've now added in the AN-225 and we're going to check it out, probably crash it and uh, see how good it actually is. Now before we jump into guys, if you are enjoying these uh, Pilot Training Flying Simulator games, I don't even know if I said the words in the right order right there, uh, then make sure you smash that like button down below. If you are new around here, make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when more episodes do come out. So where shall we spawn the plane from? Now, I'm not entirely sure where the best place would be to get it. I'll spawn in Tokyo right now at the Tokyo International Airport, baby. And we'll wait to kind of uh, get in. Come on, you damn fools. And we are now here. So, let's use our run tool to get to a gate really quickly. And let's see where this plane's going to come in now. Can you spawn it from one of the smaller stands? Or does it need to be like a large stand? Well, let's find out. Let's find out. So, click the spawner. Uh, and we'll go to... Is it classed as cargo or airline? I could... I'm, am I just talking jibber-jabber right now? Um, da -da 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 is, no, isn't it military? Isn't it military? I can't quite remember what the category of the actual plane is. But I might not be able to be able to spawn it from here. Let me just go to all. Let me just go to all right now. So the AN-225, uh, I don't think we're able to spawn it from here. Um, I don't believe so. Hold on. Let me go back real quick. Hold on. Exit, exit, exit. Let me run over to this one. It could be that I need to spawn it in like a military base. Um, ha ha! There it is, boys. There it is. It wasn't the fact they got to spawn it in a military base. It was the fact that I was at the wrong type of stand. Now, is it military or is it like simply a cargo? I think it... I'm sure they used to be used like as like a military kind of cargo style things back in the day, kind of. But uh, yeah, it falls under cargo. We're going to click it right now. We'll go for the plain and simple design. It's a 225 big ones on the old game house, baby. And we're going to buy this. We're going to check it out right now. We're going to go fly high into the sky, boys. High into the sky. So here we go. Oh, yo, it's actually quite big. It is actually quite big, isn't it? So let me just jump in as a pilot right now. And can we see the inside? Oh, the inside looks beautiful. It actually looks really, really beautiful right now. The color scheme reminds me of old-fashioned stuff. Is it, oh, there's actually ladders inside. Right. So does that mean I can get, I can jump up and walk around? Yes. So there's actual seating, so people can sit in here. We can go on a nice little journey. Can't go through that door. They've got a little sink in here right now, but there is a little bit of a ladder we can go down to where they store all of the cargo. Okay, that's pretty cool, right? That's pretty cool. Right, let's get back up here, boys, because we now need to go and fly. Wait, oh, hold on. There's even more. There's even more chairs going on right now. So, engine on. Oh, there we go. The sounds, the sounds of the 225. <laughs> and uh, we're going to put into our reverse thrusters, and we're going to now slowly head back, and we're going to taxi towards the runway. Ooh, boys. It got some serious power, this. What's crazy is on this plane is the amount of wheels that it does have at the rear. And the fact that it's got three engines on the wing. Is that not crazy or is that not crazy right now? Right. We're doing maximum reverses. Maximum reverse. And we're going to turn. And we're going to taxi to the actual runway. So we're going to go right to the end. We're going to then take off. And we're going to go on a nice little adventure. Yeah, boy. Right, bring the speed down a little bit because we might be taxing a little bit too quick, if you ask me. A little bit too quick. So, now, do I turn right here and just attack the runway? Full pedal to the metal right now? I think the answer is going to be yes. I think the answer is going to be yes. Now, we're going to try and turn here. Now, this plane feels big, but I feel like I need to spawn it next to, like, a Beluga or an A380 to truly... Un or the big Dreamliner to truly understand the sheer, the sheer size of this plane. But it feels pretty big. It does... It does feel pretty big. So, we're going to turn in right now. Skadoodling. And we're going to go and uh, leave on a jet plane. And I don't know when I'll be back again. So, turning in. There we go, boys. There we go. 
So if I bring it to a complete and utter stop right now, here is the Anton, the Anton, Anton Ov. I can't even say the word right now. Basically, the AN225 boys is now about to take off. Antonov. I know, I know. But here we go. Here we go, boys. Full steam ahead. It's got two wheels at the front. A gazillion wheels at the back right now. There's two, four, six, seven, fourteen. There's twenty-eight wheels, because they're like double wheel both sides. Just on the rear of the plane. Now we're still uh taxiing technically. We're now actually taking off. Oh boys! We got the moves. We got the serious moves right now as we now slowly head towards in the air. So let's put the landing gear away. Boom! It's gone. And we're now flying, boys. We're now flying. Slowly raising and gaining our very own altitude. The question is, what is the top speed of this plane? And where shall we crash? I mean, I mean land it. Where should we land it? I don't know what you guys are talking about right now, but we're definitely not crash landing it. But it looks like 418 knots. 418 knots right now is the big one. I just locked my camera. There we go. There we go. But look at that. Look at the trail behind with the free engines. That's crazy to see as well. The free trails from the, uh, the, the six engines. They are jet engines, right? Yeah. That's ridiculous. I love to see this from like... I love to see someone fly over me with this and seeing these big uh, trails being created. But we just slowly break in the clouds. We are now slowly, just slowly breaking the clouds. And we have to go pick our destination. So, hmm. Aircraft carrier? No, I'm not going to land on it. Not today. Not today. I think we'll fly to somewhere like Greater Rock. We've actually got this plane fully in the air right now. We're at 15,000 feet. 15,000 glorious feet right now heading towards Greater Rockford. What do you guys think about this plane? Let me know in the comment section down below. Is this a plane that you would fly? I know it's a game pass and you've got to spend some actual Robux to get it right now. But if you could get it, what do you think? Rate this plane out of 10 right now in the comment section down below. But your boy... Oh my goodness me, I'm going all over the place right now. Oh, no, no, no! Your boy's enjoying it right now. Look at me go, boys. Look at me go. This plane's got like a big nose, isn't it? It looks like he's got a big nose. Now, we should really start thinking about kind of reducing the altitude ever so slightly as we are going to be uh, approaching the, uh, the, the the Greater Rockford Airport. We might just ever so slightly um, go over it. So we'll kind of head and tilt our nose downwards. Let me just lock my camera right there. Now, it does mean I'm going to be gaining some serious speed as you now go plummeting down but look at this right now look at the trails we are now creating behind us i really like this i really do like coming in very beautifully for this landing so we'll try and pick the right side runway we'll bring out the landing gear right now and reduce our throttle as we're coming in we might be actually coming a little bit too quick so i'm gonna reduce my throttle quite heavily and just uh slowly wait for the uh the landing speed to appear so we got to get down below 200 knots right now. Which we're very, very slowly doing. Easy, boys. We're just gliding. It feels like we're just gliding in at this point. It does feel like we're just gliding in. But Grey Rockford's on the way, boys. We've got our land speed ready to rock and roll. Just going to make sure we don't stall this puppy. Uh, we are actually stalling it. That's not good. That's never good. That is never good. There we go. Just keep our throttle about 50%. And we're going to try and navigate this. We're going to try and... I'm going to try and be butter, okay? I know I've been a Ryanair pilot lately, but I promise you I am going to do a butter landing. I am going to do a butter landing. Here we go, boys. Here we go. The land speed's coming in. Oh, bringing down the altitude. Oh, come on. Come on. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Get that nose down, boy. Get that nose down. Now we're going to reverse thrust it. So hopefully I don't run out of runway. Hopefully your boy does not run out of runway right now. But come on. Rate that landing in the comment section, boys. You know that was butter. You know that was a butter landing right now. 
Don't say anything, okay? Don't say anything right there. But here, oh my goodness, man, I'm going actually a little bit too quick here. A little bit too quick, boys. But guess what? I'm a pro pilot. I can navigate these situations. I can navigate these situations as I now slowly taxi back. <laughs> that was dangerous. That was very, very dangerous right now. Easy, boy. Easy. Getting too carried away with the throttle now, aren't I? I'm getting too excited. Too excited, boys. Too excited. But anyway, we've made it safely from Tokyo to Greater Rockford right now in the brand new uh, AN225. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I think it's an absolute beast of a plane right now. And I am quite excited to use more of this in some future live streams. So if you want to see your boy live stream this game at some point, smash that like button down below. Leave a comment saying, Cineac, you damn fool, play some more, and we'll do just that. But I am now going to jump out of the plane, and we're going to see how this beauty looks directly in front of us. Until next time, I will see you all soon. So good. Bye.